Are you looking for Upwork profile tips to get those big budget clients? Well, to get started with Upwork and to get your profile optimized to get big budget clients, it helps to target a certain industry that have big budgets. So Upwork, they've actually released the top 10 industries based on the 100 fastest growing skills in Upwork that I've provided in a previous video. And I'm gonna cover the top 10 industries that you can target with your profile to sell services to and I'm gonna describe not just the top 10, but I'm gonna describe what it means, like what the top 10 industries mean and, how, mean and how to optimize your profile so that you can get those big budget clients. So why am I qualified to talk about this? Well, I just spent nine years in Upwork and I've just spent six years helping over 700 people get started on Upwork as well. So in this video, I'm gonna cover how to optimize your profile, how to write it in a way where you're targeting the top 10 niches, the top 10 industries that are buying the top 100 skills that are currently growing on Upwork and have stable demand. So let's start with the top 10. I'm gonna list them and I'm gonna analyze them for you to describe, to explain what you need to be selling to them, what the industries mean, and how this applies to you when you are optimizing your profile. So the first industry is consulting. Consulting industry is basically people that are consultants that are going into bigger companies that don't specialize in certain fields, let's say a medical company, for example, and they go in there and they provide marketing consulting, uh, growth consulting, communication consulting, and so on. So the first industry that you can be targeting is consulting. And what you could be selling to them is whatever services are necessary for a consulting industry. Usually they wanna get clients through venues like LinkedIn and advertising, and they wanna have landing pages and websites built with their portfolios and testimonials. So you can provide anything that consultants are looking to buy right now. If you wanna find out what the consulting industry is looking to get done on Upwork, take a look by typing in consulting into Upwork and see who is currently offering uh, jobs and projects in the consulting industry and Upwork. You can use also other keywords on Upwork related to consulting, like marketing consulting, sales consulting, uh, project management consulting, operations consulting, and so on. And you can figure out what services are currently in demand in that industry. And if your service that you want to offer is currently in demand in that industry. The second one is internet software and services. Usually these are companies that offer internet software, so web applications, mobile apps, and so on, and they offer it as a service, either as a SaaS, or they build software for other companies. They usually need developers and marketing. So the next industry is internet. Uh, this is a generic term, so we're gonna skip that one because we can't really do with anything with that. It's just the internet industry. That's what Upwork gave us. So let's just go to the next one, consumer discretionary. Consumer discretionary industry is uh, consumer goods like cars and watches. It's stuff that people don't really need to survive. So companies that are selling things like e-commerce companies and uh, big companies like automotive companies, they're selling uh, products and services to consumers that are not of very high importance in terms of survival. So these are luxury goods, these are goods that are related to transportation, these are goods related to communication. They're not really like food or drink or essentials. They're non-essential goods and services that they sell to consumers. They will usually want to do stuff like build an e-commerce website or uh, transition from an offline business to an online business and have an online branch for their business. And they will want things like consulting, and they will want things like marketing services and business plans and marketing plans for their online operations. Next industry is uh, healthcare. So these are companies that offer healthcare hardware and he healthcare solutions in other areas as well. For example, HR and healthcare and that kind of thing. So you can check out what they require again with the process I explained earlier. Uh, the next one is consumer staples. These are essential goods like food, drinks, and other things that are essential for survival. They will again look for marketing services, tech services, and online solutions if they are in Upwork. And they're looking for things like data entry as well. The next one is publishing. So the publishing industry is an interesting one because they need copywriters, they need writers, they need authors, uh, fact checkers, data entry. They need marketing services as well to promote books. Their industry is focused on publishing products like books online that generate consistent 
uh, passive income, as they say, but it's not really passive. So they want things like publishing on Amazon, publishing eBooks, publishing offline, and so on. So the next one is education. The education industry is also one of my favorite ones because it's growing right now. It's a little bit similar to consulting. So the education industry is generally people that are in traditional education related to government and non-traditional, which is new online education. They will usually want online lead generation and they want things like um, publishing and course editing and e-learning. The next industry is advertising. Advertising industry is probably what you're doing. The advertising industry are marketing agencies, online and offline, that are looking for Facebook ad experts, Google ads experts, and other types of marketing experts. And they're also looking for sales support, sales staff, and lead generation as a whole. They're looking to outsource work that they can't do in-house related to advertising online because that's not something they want to hire for yet or they want to look at companies or freelancers rather that want to do projects for them that are not really readily available to hire for so niche skills like facebook advertising lead generation for whatever industry they sell to this is easy to research and they're usually looking for freelancers and less so for agencies so the next industry is Specialized consumer services. This is an industry that is focused on legal, social, and environmental issues. These are services that are related to legal services, but also services like how to reduce packaging use and engineering services. You can look up what they're looking for by looking at government programs and what is currently being incentivized and promoted by political groups and stuff like that. So specialized consumer services are very niche services for engineers and high-tech professionals and consultants that are in, in a growth market right now. You can look at AI and stuff like that. Although, you'll notice that these are not usually very big projects based on my research that I have right now. So what can you do with this information? So you have this top 10, nine of them are useful. Uh, one of them is too generic to use right now, like internet, what do we do with that? So basically, when you're writing your profile and you, you're looking at potential projects that you're gonna be applying to, Check that the projects are potentially gonna generate a lot of money for you. Check that the projects are substantial product projects that are gonna take a while, you can charge a lot of money for, and you can standardize. If you can standardize the types of projects that these industries are looking for, and you can offer that, you can become a freelancer or agency owner that specializes in that industry. And you can choose within this industry, if you look at the, let's say the advertising industry or the publishing industry, you can specialize in a certain type of publisher, a certain type of advertiser that is specialized in a certain type of marketing or publishing, for example. And you can write your profile with case studies for this and your portfolio based on this and your skills and previous experience based on this. So if you're a highly specialized professional, you can leverage this. Or if you have people on your team that have experience in this, from their previous jobs or freelancing career, you can specialize in these industries as well. Furthermore, once you understand what a, one of these specific industries is looking for, what their pain points are, their dreams, ambitions, and desires, and what stage of development their company is in, what stage of growth their company is in, you can specialize your profile based on that. So write about them and what they want and what they're interested in by going to conferences, by doing online research, and by talking to prospects on the phone as well. That way, you can write about them and what they want, and as I said, their dreams and desires, and you're gonna be able to attract those types of clients. And the more you specialize with a good volume of leads that are coming in, so the more you're gonna be able to charge a lot of money to those types of companies. Because specialists in a certain industries, they tend to make more money than generalists that say, I just do marketing or I just do tech projects, right? So if you figure out that in publishing, everyone's moving online right now and they're getting on Amazon, you can specialize in Amazon publishing and Amazon publishing with marketing for eBooks and Kindle books, for example. How are they doing online and how are they doing with audiobooks and how are they doing with their marketing? Are they running Facebook ads for those, for those launch campaigns for the books or are they just doing offline only and are they looking for a consultant to figure out how to do things online? You can figure this out if you research one industry at a time, start with the ones you prefer and you have the most experience with or your team has the most experience with and optimize your profile, your portfolio, and your services for them and based on what they would benefit most from. And based on what the biggest projects are that, can, that you can charge good money for. So once you figure this out, and you go all in on that and you have steady lead flow, you'll be known as the person or the company 
that delivers the best results in that industry. And then you're gonna get referred to everyone else in that industry and you could really launch your uh, freelancing or agency to a whole new level. And I've noticed that people who make the most money, they do specialize. They don't just stick around and try to do everything for everyone. I know it's very popular with freelancers to list all the skills that they do and just say we do everything for everyone, but that's the way to charge very little money. To charge a lot of money, niche down, understand the industry that you sell to, and understand the service that you sell in a way that delivers great results with lots of proof. So next up, I have a video for you that is how to get $2,000 projects regularly three or four times a month on Upwork. So click the video right here, and it'll explain how to do that and how to build a six-figure business based on that. Also, I'd like you to click the subscribe button if you find this content valuable. And uh, by the way, if you want a summary of the top 10 industries that the 100 uh, fastest growing skills are most useful for on Upwork, that are most in demand, then also click uh, on the description and like expand it, and you can see a summary of all the 10 industries. So other than this, uh, see you in the next video, and please do click the subscribe button if you found this content valuable.